Hello guys with Linux LVM 2 part 3. In the last video we have looked at the disk format and creating physical volume, volume group and logical volume. In today's video we will try to extend and resize the volume group and logical volume. And again before we get started please don't perform those tasks on any production system or personal operating system. Try to create your own test environment using virtualization technology such as VMware or VirtualBox or any other virtual technology, virtualization technology. Now let us move to the practical or technical side of this video. We need to extend logical volume, but we need first to check the disk, the physical volume and volume group if we have enough space or free space there. So the first command we will perform the BVS to check the physical volumes we can see here the physical volumes is all of them right now in use and one of them belong to the a point of uh, volume group and the second one and both of them the sdb1 sdc1 belong to the data underscore vg which is the volume group we have created in the last video so now i will just do vgs and i will put also data we know that's we can see here the attribute we have zero free space that's mean this data volume group is have no free space so we cannot extend our logical volume let us also check the logical volumes and which logical vo which logical volume we will increase or extend the size i will work on data lv now we can see here we have two g two gigabytes and we have logical volume both of them are belong to the data vg before we just perform the resize or extend the logical volume, we need just to run command to check if the data, this command, tune to fs minus l dev data vg and data logical volume, and then we will grab resize underscore i node. This feature, if it's enabled, so we can perform the resize. If it's not, it will be we will not be able to perform the resize we can see here the file system feature i know resize underscore i know is enabled and active so we can perform the resize let's check the disks are available on the operating system or the server so the first command is we can do the, like lvm disk scan this command lvm disk scan underscore grip minus v loop i just exclude the loop to make it easy for us to just uh, have clear idea what's uh, the disk are available we can see here sdb1 which is labeled as lvm physical volume the second one is sd sdc also the same sd3 sd sda3 also the same but we have sdb2 which is not labeled that's mean it's not in use like a logical volume physical volume uh, logical volume manager physical volume so let's just also run another command which is called blk and we can see here the blk show us that's the sd sdb1 and sdc1 both of them are in use but sdb2 i think it's parted it's not it's a partition and it's empty it's not in use so i need to extend the vgs so we we just check the vgs is have no free space so what we can do right now we need to create the bv so the first step is bv create then we will put div sdb2 and then we can see we are successfully created the bv let's check again bvs we can see here the bvs is created but it's not belong yet for any volume group so what we can do right now we need to do like this bvs then we will vgs vg extend okay then we will uh, then we will put the data underscore vg then dev uh, that's mean please extend the data underscore vg volume group and add this bv which is physical volume to it okay it's simple command then bvs we can see here it's right now this sdb2 is belong to the data underscore vg nice so that's it now we have as we can see here we have free space physical free space is not in use so we have three gigabytes 
let me just clear the screen and do VGS to check. Yes, we have three gigabytes free. So now we can extend and resize the logical volume, which is called data underscore LV. Let us now check the data underscore LV logical volume. If it's mounted, we can see here it's mounted. Yep, it's mounted and the file system is extend for, which is extension for and this is i think the default file system for most and majority of uh, linux operating system now i will check i have another command just to confirm if we need more confirmation we can see here the fs check is for extension 4 that's mean this one is using extension 4 file system and uh, the lvs now just to check the current size we can see the current size is two gigabytes so now I will also check the disk uh, DF, which is disk free. I will see. So I will grip for the available right now. We can see here the available and total this uh, space. I think for this one is two gigabytes on the operating system for the data. I think it's also mounted. Nice. So let me, I will not clear the screen here. So let's perform the resize. We have two ways to resize. The first one is uh, we do it automatically. We have the other one is manual. Automatically, we can resize by performing a dash R or minus minus resize uh, FS. So I will show you how the command is work. It's like this. So this is the command. And let me just uh, like this to make it easy for you to see the command. Nice. LV resize dash dash resize fs this one will resize the operating the the file system on the operating system we can see here we have two gigabytes once i perform this one it will be almost three gigabyte so plus that's mean add to the two gigabyte plus one gigabyte because there is also another form of adding uh, if you want not to add plus you can add three gigabytes i will show you later on i will hit enter we can see here right now, if I re-perform this one, we can see here we are almost 3 gigabytes. Let's do also, let me just clear the screen. We can see here it's also uh, on fly, apply it also direct to operating system. We can, we can see here it's uh, directly uh, now affect the logical volume. So we can see here 3 gigabytes is directly added. So let me just LVS. We can see here the LVS right now is three three gigabytes. Let's do um, VG, VGS again. We can see here we have uh, more. Uh, I think two gigabytes free right now. So let's go to the manual one. How we can perform the manual uh, extend or resizing? The we have two uh, commands uh, by the way. Resize. Uh, LV resize and we have also LV extend extend yeah uh, both of them have the same uh, the same uh, I think the same functionality but uh, I think uh, the difference is that the LV extend can only increase the size of the volume the signs of the volume i think uh, whereas lv resize can increase or reduce it this makes lv resize more powerful but more dangerous i think so you need to be careful with this command but this command only for extend for expanding for adding more space okay it cannot be reduced but this one lv resize we can increase and reduce for both so this will be more powerful but extend it's just only for extend and oh yeah first let's do vgs we can see we have two we can see here we have two giga available for this volume group let's do lvs we can see here we have right now three gigabytes. Let's do also uh, just a disk free also to make sure that's yeah nice. Now we need to do LV extend. We can see here LV extend 
div mapper data vg data underscore lv minus l capital and here i put the four gigabytes you can see here there is no plus sign that's mean the total size will be the total size will be four gigabytes so if we put three it will not work because the total size is three or less than that it will not also work but four gigabytes is increasing it's more than so we will add one gigabytes that's mean okay i will run into i will hit enter we can see here it's resized now but let us check again here we can see we didn't affect the logical volume on the operating system so that's mean the the data cannot uh, consume or take this say space or additional space that we added so how what we can do we need to resize to fs and this command is belong to the extension for only you cannot use it for any other file system okay then we will perform this to this one okay so to resize then we can hit enter again we can check we can see here right now is three gigabyte almost four gigabytes sorry here we can see so once we resize the operating system we are able to see and check the resize nice now once we so the both forms the automatic and manual one let me also show you the how we can let's say we have here vgs we can see here we have almost one gigabyte how we can consume or take all of them for the data volume group nice so just lvs mm, now yeah we can see here it's four gigabytes so we will consume all of those i will use my minus r if i can uh, yeah so also lv extend also support dash dash resize fs as well for automatic uh, just resizing no need to do to perform um like like uh, resize to fs to this uh, logical volume so we can perform it directly from here so it will be but before perform this one let me just do like this one to check the space so once we perform this one it should yeah now let's run this one again we can see here it's uh, no it's not affected so let's check what is uh, yeah i think i didn't perform uh, i think dash dash resize so anyway you can perform it but here uh, let me just resize resize to fs we can see here what i have done here i minus l so i add plus 100 percent free to take all the available space on here on the data vg nice now dev i think uh, data then data lv price now let's check again we can see here we have five gigabytes of space available so i think that's it i will just only check if i the vgs we can see here it's zero once we perform that command it it take all the free space of that data vg and add it to the to that uh, logical volume which is data underscore lv nice so that's it for today i thank you for watching and see you next video thank you have a nice day bye